Hey guys, it's me Lemo and we got some new fish. So let's head into the fish room and see what we can get up to. All right, we're in the fish room. Thanks for joining me today. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. We got a lot of great stuff going on. We got lots of shrimps, cichlids, guppies, lots of live bears, betta fish, uh, starry nights. We got all sorts of stuff, angels. But let's get into today's, into today's video. We are temperature acclimating these Caracodon lateralis and I figured we would take this moment to talk a little bit about their care and where they come from and what they do. Alrighty, so I pulled up Greg Sage's Caracodon lateralis uh, care guide to give you guys a little bit more information about these guys right here on the left. Um, that will be found at selectaquatics.com slash care guide something I can't really see what it says but yeah selectaquatics.com the common name is the rainbow goodyid the water conditions are not critical but you need effective filtration and regular water changes temperature should be between 70 and 75 degrees I have them a little bit higher because the fish room is heated to 80 but if you're going to keep them as a pet, um, definitely try to provide them with the correct temperature. Provide plants for security. Their behavior is generally peaceful and they're well behaved with one another. For breeding, Greg Sage has written down that they, they produce about 5 to 10 young every 2 months. And for the size, it says they're about 2 to 2 and a half inches. And I will just read this little excerpt that he's got here. This is a hardy beautiful fish whose wild form is expected to become extinct within just a few years. They can be kept in a single species community tank of 10 gallons with some fine leaved plants and the young are generally not eaten. In that situation effective filtration with some water movement and aeration needs to be provided. To keep them at their best they are kept in 29 gallon tanks here with moderate planting. Gravid females are removed to have their young, which are then raised separately. So that's how Greg Sage does it. I might consider moving um, moving them to a 20 high and then moving the females to like 10 gallons to give birth, based off what he said there. They appreciate having plants to hide in and do best with opportunities to rest in small groups out of sight, though the dominant pairs will often patrol the front of the tank. The gravid females become very large and are easily identified. Gestation is around 60 days depending on temperature, and the young are smaller than some of the other goodyids. Batches are generally only 5 to 10 young. The younger females are small enough to use a net breeder, but they are generally given a 5 to 10 gallon tank of their own to drop their fry. The fry do best when raised separately for at least the first 1 to 2 weeks to build up some size and confidence before being put in with the adults. This fish is one of the one that breeds seasonally here, dropping fry from mid-May until early October, but unlike other seasonally breeding species, it is rare for even a single female to drop fry once breeding has stopped for the year. Unlike many of the other live bearers, the goodyids do not hold on to sperm, so each fertilization is entirely separate from any previous matings, so they can be selectively bred more easily when their numbers increase. With consistent care, this is a hardy, intensely pretty goodyid. The problem with selectively breeding them is determining which females carry the genes for the most intensely red males. Recent, recent improvements to the fish room have shown that they are sensitive to warmer temperatures and must be kept below 74 to 75 degrees. Thermal tops put on tanks here to control humidity caused losses, but when temperatures are kept at 70 to 74 degrees, this particularly attractive goodie will do well. So I might want to consider lowering the temperature because their tank is at about 78 I think. Let's see. It might even be at 80. Yeah, there it says 78, 80, 82. So I might want to consider lowering the temperature. 
based off of what Greg Sage has said, because they are from cooler waters in Mexico, if I believe I remember that correctly. On seriouslyfish.com, it says they are restricted to a series of small habitats below the waterfall known as El Saltito in the upper Rio Mezcotal Basin, Durango State, Central Mexico. So that's what it says where they're from. And I think we should get some plants for this tank. What do y'all think? I'm going to run out to the other room and grab some plants and I will be right back. I'll just pause you guys. Alrighty, I'm back. I got a handful of guppy grass out from the 150 gallon. Hopefully they like that. If you're new here, you might not know why is there already one Caracodon lateralis or rainbow goodyear in this 10 gallon. Well, I had a bunch of them before I got pregnant. And when I got pregnant, I stopped coming in the fish room because I hyper-focused on my pregnancy and learned everything about babies and being pregnant and birth and how to do it all. And I didn't feed any of the fish. Most of the fish in the fish room died, um, except for a few. I'm actually pretty shocked at the amount of survivors we did have. But you can see him back by the mug, back by Chappie's mug. I should fix that. Okay, that's fixed. Speaking of mugs, I would really appreciate if someone would buy my mug. I bought everyone's mug. <laughs> and I don't think I've sold a single mug yet. But mine is pretty cool. I'll show you guys what it looks like. Mine looks like this. It's got a bit of fish on it. It says ADHD Aquatics. Well, they've been temperature acclimating for about 20 minutes now. So, I'm going to go ahead and put them in. I got these locally from a guy up the street. He's about 10 minutes away from me, so we have the same water. So, I'm not too worried about it. Uh, definitely going to have to figure out how to cool them down. I might want to put them on the bottom shelf. Okay, this guy doesn't understand how to get out of the bag. There you go, buddy. Alright. And we just gotta give it some time for the guppy grass to grow a little better. Um, we'll be good. Maybe we'll have some some babies. They look to be doing okay. So I have three females and two males now is what is going on here. They're checking out their new tank. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. See you. See you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to feed the fish.